Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Uh, it's for day three of Roller Coaster Rodeo. So it's gonna be a great day, lots to see and do. Let's go check it out. All right, first order of business, gonna climb up to the block. I want the same photo. <laughs> All right, friends, Black Break is complete. Lots of fun. Very easy compared to Superman and Dr. Diabolical's Lift Hill. Thankfully, didn't get to stay up there too long because we did have a little bit of a late start, but we are heading over to Poltergeist now. Um. Here we go. You can touch it. I'm a support. <laughs> that makes sense because that's probably. Crazy messed up, and he's not an island boy like me and Josh. I'm an island boy. Disappointed in you, Crazy. Disappointed. At least you tried to represent Hulk. Right. <laughs> That's a funky support right there, but I like it. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. A bowl of spaghetti. Crazy. Uh, what did you think of the tour? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Oh, it's very cool. I love that one. It's not large, but there's so much track there. And just look at how much of a pain that must have been to build. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, like, you know, obviously it was originally built as an indoor attraction. And just seeing it all muzzle gear. And like some of the supports, like how they're angled at certain ways so there's clearance other ways. I loved going in there. Fiesta's put on such a great event for us. 
Yeah, like I said, Fiesta put on an amazing event for us so far. And great, it's still not even done. This is day three and they're still going. Uh, but no, that Poltergeist walkthrough, 20 out of 10. Like, it was so cool. They let you sit on the track. They didn't want you climbing all over it, but you could sit on it. Uh, you could take lots of photos, videos, and there's just so many details that go into that ride. Like, all the support angles, like Josh said, and how intense it must have been just to build it. Like, that must have been such a pain in the butt. Half of those supports are basically touching each other, but it's very, very cool to see. I think a hyper is exactly what this park needs. It doesn't matter if it's B&M, Mach, Intamin, Coma. Like, I think a hyper would really set off this le this coaster collection. And this park 100% has the land for it. I don't know, like you can get very creative when you're trying to do something like that. Especially since by Poltergeist, there's a giant plot of land behind it that goes back a house. And I think there's plenty of land you can extend the bird walk or, you know, by pandemonium and stuff, that's enough stuff for a station, brake run, maintenance bay, and then you just have to go do an out and back layout on the side. You know, there's enough land for a whole out and back on that in between everything they have and the quarry wall on that side. Yeah, you can utilize the quarry wall, have it be like Superman and Iron Rattler, jump off of it. Granted, I don't think they're gonna do that again, but who knows? But at the same time, like, you could have that thing go literally anywhere in the park and it would be good. It could be seen from the parking lot. I'm like, really? You could, I'd be like, let's say you had a 220 footer. I mean, like, that can go all the way to the parking lot and back. Maybe loop around a little edge of the parking lot or go over the front gate like Fury does and come mm -hmm. back. Yeah. There's, there's the land to do it. Now, if they wanted to do that, Giga, 100% oh. have it go over the front gate. Oh, yeah. Let's do a full lap of the park done. Just, oh yeah, they're totally gonna get a front gate coaster eventually. Yeah. yeah I, just, I just don't see a giga happening because of budget. Yeah. Um, and this isn't like the biggest, like, great adventure. Give, give me a great, a, great, a great adventure. But, like for Fiesta, I'm like a hyper. You know, it's like, over Georgia has a hyper. Over Texas has a hyper. New England has a hyper. New England has a hyper. And those are around the same size as Fiesta Texas. So give me a Fiesta Texas hyper. Crazy was playing with it after it was done. Just wanted to rub it into his skin. So we do have Water Park ERT, and a bunch of rides are open, and they're playing the Six Flags theme song, which is awesome. So during this ERT, they also give us free mimosas, unlimited mimosas. And how many have you had, Josh? I've had 13? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I've had 13, and I'm working on this one. And this is more than one of these. One of these equals three of these. No, it doesn't. <laughs> That's not how the math works out there, Josh. Wait, what? One of these equals one and a quarter of those. Probably one and one third. How many do you have, Kevin? Six. I only had six. Hey. Can you please tell me your own words? How do you feel about Geauga Lake closing? I was sad about it. You know, it was a great park that people went for generations. And then when Big Dipper closed, that thing opened in 1925. It was it was a time. It was a time. It was a time. sad time. Yeah. Do you think it was Cedar Fair's fault? No. Really? Do you think it was Six Flags' fault? Take. I think it was Premier Park's fault. Really? Premier Park's definitely ruined the park, but they, Cedar Fair could have kept it going. So, okay, okay. Kevin's like, content. <laughs> Store time. Cedar Fair inherited the park, <coughs> and they wanted to down market it. Make Geauga Lake cheaper, make Cedar Point more expensive. So that way, when people in Cleveland, Ohio would go, Cedar Point costs too much. I'll just go to Geauga Lake instead. See, I didn't know about that. They would still make the money to compete with Kennywood. To compete, I mean, they were already better than Waldemere at the time. Anyone's better than Waldemere. This bench is better than Waldemere. But they, they did not buy it with intents to close it. That's a lot of Thuzi speculation. They, they had zero intent to close it when they when they really? bought it in 2004. They didn't really give it enough time. Going back. No, back it's not the, that they uh, give it, didn't give it enough time. It's that what happened in 2006? They purchased the Paramount Parks in 2006 mm. and went a billion dollars in debt. So, okay. Now, now let's just lo logically look at this. I'm a company. I now own King's Island, ready to make some money. Canada's Wonderland, ready to make some money. King's Dominion, ready to make some money. Carowinds, ready to make some money. And California's Great America, whatever. Yeah, it's there. It's <laughs> but Geauga Lake America. doesn't make any money. Our company has just acquired a billion dollars in debt. And we have this tiny little property in a market that overlaps that's not making any money. Closing. That makes logical sense. 
But why wasn't it making any money? Because in 2000, 2001, Six Flags ruined the place, added all these coasters, upping the operating costs, and ruining the reputation of the park. Now here's the thing, I was a child, so I remember going to that park. I remember the riding the rides, but my parents, who had been going there for decades at that point, they went, Geog Lake was a nice little fun park when they went to it, and when Six Flags took over, it went to a dump, the same way Great Adventure and Magic uh, Mountain and stuff is it. Great Adventure is a dump, no, and there's no, no it's no. a dump with okay, an amazing coaster I collection say, that I love. I love Josh, the Coastal Collection of Great someone, Adventure, but it's a dump. As there is not a single one about it. It was a big part of Great Adventure history. And I love Great Adventure more than Fiesta Texas. I want you to know that. I love Great Adventure. Great Adventure has a better Coaster Collection than the rest, but it's a dump. Here's what I'll say about Great Adventure. This place is nice Josh, with not a good Coaster Collection. I will say, I call and she hates when I say this. I call Magic Mountain Desert Great Adventure no. and Great Adventure Forest Magic Mountain. Absolutely Because they're the most not. comparable. When it comes because to like Great Adventure, Great America, and Magic Mountain are dumps <gasps> with amazing coaster I collections. I love Great America. I love fighting words. No, 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 those no, no, no. are fighting words. I love those parks and they are some of my favorite parks because I am into roller coasters and they have some of the best coaster I collections love. in the United States, but they are dumps. You know what I think they are dirty. Filthy, rude employees, and rude employees. I said it. With Great America, Great America's employees were very nice when we okay, arrived. You know what I love about Great America? I love its weird history with Marriott. I've been to both Great Amer Marriotts, Great Americas, and like, I mean, not as Marriott because I wasn't born. But like, I love the history behind the two parks. I think they're fascinating, and I much prefer the one in Illinois over the one in California. The one in California is prettier. Yes. Because Cedar Fair has a high flight standard deck. in cleanliness. Flight Tech's amazing. It's very simple. See, Fiesta, Texas, which we're at right now, is the nicest you know. Six Flags park by a landslide. This yeah. park is amazing, but the Coaster Collection is not they have Rattler. anywhere near the. They have Rattler. What else do they have? I, I Wonder Woman. broke it down. I have, I have a whole I have a, I have a whole Excel you sheet have a spreadsheet? on this. I have a spreadsheet where nice. S tier coasters get five points. A tier gets four points, B tier gets three points, C tier gets two points, um, and uh, D tier gets one point. And so mathematically breaking it down, Great Adventure is one of the top scoring parks I've ever been to. Magic Mountain is one of the top scoring parks I've ever been to. Great America is one of the top scoring parks I've ever been to. But those places are filthy. And there's no denying that. When I went to Great Adventure, Adventure is not filthy. I hopped in the um, flash pass line. There were bottles um, of water all over the place. You were with me. Bottles of water just in the queue. I'm like, no one even cleans this queue. Because there was trash. There was the literally queue. trash all over the place. But the coaster collection was amazing. Absolutely phenomenal. I will tell you. I love Great Adventure for that coaster collection. Without, but it's a dump. Without Chiller, without Scream Machine, without Rolling Thunder, I feel like... Great Adventure never has looked, the charm that it had when I got I never there. went to those parks when those coasters but, existed. Uh, you so, never got so, a little well, Jackie and I met no, at Scream Machine. No, my first time to Great Adventure was 2017, or 2018. So, 17 or 18. So I know Great Adventure has existed today. An amazing coaster collection. Great and I love that coaster Great collection. And because I love that ago. coaster collection, it ranks highly for me, but I'm not blind. It's a dump. It is the, filthy. So there. what do you think of Six Flags New England? <laughs> Oh, I mean, like, really it's a dump trash. was a great well, one-two punch. Like, people used to call Riverside Park River Dump when I was a kid. No, no, no. So. Y'all are disrespectful. It's a dump only on the right side You're of the park. You're over here recording this, on like, the world left side. side of the park, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But on the right side of the park, ass. Now, I only went to Six Flags New England one is. time for a partial day. Yeah. I've been to Great Adventure multiple times. So I can evaluate Great Adventure and go, this place is a Josh. dump so with amazing coasters. I went to Six Flags New England the year it became Six Flags New England, and it was one of the most amazing parks I ever went to. That every visit I went to afterwards was like worse and worse. So that's I not I haven't even completely been, true. I haven't been since 2009. So Josh, what oh. when I worked at Great Adventure is the last time I went to New England. So what you're trying to say, my heart and soul. So what you're trying to say is, Great car Coaster Collection equals dump. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. So Cedar I'm Point not Great Coaster Collection equals dump. Except Cedar Point doesn't Cedar have a great coaster collection. Cedar, Cedar, Cedar Point here is more about quantity over quality. Mm -hmm. But I love Magnum. Magnum, Vengeance, uh, Maverick, Blue Streak, and Wicked Twister really close to it. Mm. I said what I said, and I'll What about everyone. Those are the star attractions of Cedar Point. 
They shouldn't have gotten rid of Wicked Blister. They shouldn't have. Uh, I love Wicked Blister. It was great. On some days, Blister is my favorite ride right in that park. Okay, no, I don't no, agree with that. I don't think um, I can have it. Was, I can't all hardly say that. I think that that. You know what Wicked Twister didn't have? Did no. No, so I, it, it, I, I like the whole break never didn't work. Back I, row, it works, it works rear spike, there. that twist was amazing. I, it was unique to Wicked only Wicked Twister. Twister. Did a thing. Fun fact, I rode Wicked Twister before I rode any of the other ones. You know what Wicked Twister um, did for me? My it, first it one was Superman the Escape. That's what it did. That's rude. That's what it did. On that note. All right. So we took a couple of rides on Rattler, and then after that we decided to go home and take a nap because we're tired, very, very tired, and it was very hot. And now, Frazy, he's an island boy. He found his shirt, and he remembered to actually put it on. Also, my baby's an island boy too. So the park is only open for one more hour, so we're gonna try to credit a bunch of stuff. We already have everything, but First off, we're gonna go to Goliath. I really like this fountain. I've always really liked this fountain. They did a great job with this ride. So a fun fact about this ride, this ride was Batman the Ride at Six Flags New Orleans before Hurricane Katrina. Then after the hurricane, they moved it over here. I love Montu. Can't stand him. <laughs> and it's a walk on. Da -na 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 Batman. It's time to ride the boomerang. And this one's actually a really good one too. Yeah. So this boomerang, so this boomerang has new magnetic brakes, has over-the-shoulder vest restraints, and is a lot better than all the other ones. Okay. Listen to how quiet that parks. Right. So quiet to park. Baby. What'd you think of Boomerang, Coast to Coaster? Not the first half is okay, but then when you go backwards, it's insane. I love that. It's really good. I love the upgrade for this one. It runs so smooth. Mm -hmm. So I love Stream's paint job, how it's just basically a rainbow all the way down, but they need to give it a repaint because the orange and the yellow basically just look at one color now. The one thing that stood out to me in all of his it talks, he kept saying, welcome <laughs> home, you guys are family, welcome home, you guys are family. Now, now, now we're leaving home. Uh, you know, I realize that that guy's the president. Jack for that monorail, baby. We will. I cannot wait for the monorail. 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 Now it's time for our last ride on Superman. So in Superman Station, there's this giant garage door, but none of us can figure out what it's for. Does anyone know? Let me know in the comments. So I think I figured it out. The maintenance bays don't have an access road, so I think they move all the parts out through that garage door. That's probably really difficult to do. Here's a better view where you can see that the road starts, and then it stops right away at the maintenance bay. So that's probably what that garage door is for. Well, maybe not, because you can't even freaking use the thing. So, I don't know. If you know, let us know, because we, we're just, we don't know. This really is such a beautiful park. Here's a better view of that lead car view of original Radler. It's wild to me that this is an entrance to a haunted house and no one knows it. It's hidden so well. Look at the front of those trains. Those are sexy. Last ride on Iron Rattler for the trip. 
One really cool thing about Roadrunner is that the spine gauge changes a little bit. Did not recognize that the first couple of rides. All right, we just finished lapping Rattler. How was it? Fantastic, as always. Such a good coaster. Amazing. Like, Iron Rattler, top five, or maybe number six RMC. And I've heard 18 RMCs or 19, something like that. Like, I love, the, I love speed. And Iron Rattler has three great moments of speed. Mm -hmm. It sure does. Now, how was your first roller coaster rodeo? It was great. It was way better than I thought it was going to be. That was a fantastic thing. Probably totally going to make this a yearly thing. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Roller Coaster Rodeo is definitely my favorite of the two events that we went to. Don't get me wrong, Hollywood Nights is still very, very, very good. It's amazing. It's a really fun event. But this one, I don't know. Like, we do so much more. Like, we have all of these ERTs. We have all of these backstage tours. It's It was just an incredible event, and the park has been so gracious to us the whole time. So thank you so much to Fiesta Texas for everything that you guys did. Super appreciate it. But anyway, with that being said, that's going to do it for today's episode. If you like what you saw, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye.